the stage. Asking the drunk in the crowd to go on the stage. Come on the stage. Police, what's the big one, woman? What's the big one, woman? Oh, I'm going to run away, run away, run away. Look at Pitchy Patchy coming through now. Oh, 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 oh,
it is this mental it, 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 it's not being recognized as much see it is not being recognized as much I think it should be taught some more in school children have been blindfolded by a lot of people there is no, there is no mental if you should ask them what is the name of the, uh, that instrument here, they call it a guitar. Some have never seen a rumba box, which is the, which is the um, main bass, that first bass that introduced to me. I feel rumba box, mental box. I like a kid that's from what you what you do, Sam, and tell him that it's a rumba box. You know, it's a mental box or first box. Here it is. I was here today to help to keep the culture alive. Mentor is the first lady. And it's kind of sad to see that. Like it is dying, but we're just trying to keep it alive. Especially among the children, because they don't know what it is meant. One thing I would like to say to you, I guess I didn't say before, we need to have more teaching in this school, you know, teach it up. That's a very good thing. I love my music, I love my music, yes, and I give thanks to it. Well, today we have some animals that we took from the zoo. Well, we actually took the zoo to the Jesse Ripple Primary School. We have some skins and bones of various animals that we have, such as the Jamaican pond turtle shell and some other animals that are not native to Jamaica. However, animals play an important part of our culture because they add to biodiversity. We get food from them as well as we have a, an interaction, a relationship as it relates to the balance of the equation. Right. So therefore we have these animals here today to um, express them. a small arm of our outreach committee here. We are a museum that has seven divisions and we are located uh, downtown, 10 to 16 East Street. What we have on display here are some of the artifacts and items from our Jamaica Music Museum. 
from the Natural History Museum and also from the African Caribbean Institute of Jamaica and our Programs Coordination Division. The cultural significance of some of the items that we have bought include the Dumbay drum. This was one of the tools that the Maroons used to communicate with uh, each other to warn of the British presence. So this one we actually have it interactive so that the students will be able to feel it, play with the instruments and interact with it. Uh, we have other pieces of um, other drums and a bang um, from the African Caribbean Institute of Jamaica which represent pieces of maroon history and culture which are integral to our Jamaican history. We are participating in the culture day and by virtue of us being a library service, we have resource materials that give information on the Jamaican culture across the board. We have several multimedia programs that we are also showing to the kids. We include our national reading competition, which is the flagship program of the Jamaica Library Service. I'm selling books to try to reach uh, all the schools right across the board when they have um, cultural fair days. We try to be here for the display. We have Colin Jamaican dictionary, also we have a line of dictionary words, culture words and stuff. We have lots of in line with the NSC as well. And it also have some good cultural um, information inside of it as well. And we are trying to make the school use it and get it right across the highland. Very, very good book. <laughs> I think the main reason for putting on the event is that our Jamaican nowadays children are not that exposed to our Jamaican culture. And I think it's events like these that really shed a light to who we are as Jamaicans and why we should appreciate who we are and what we do that makes us special and outstanding on the world stage. Speak to us about the day and um, how do you think it is impacting our children? Well, culture, as you know, is a way of life, and um, indeed today, I must comment um, the team, awesome job, one is a different, um, when I say awesome, I mean awesome. What I like about this culture day is that it's one of a different, it is this different I mean, you have different activities, you have the Jankunu, you have the um, mentor band, that was awesome, you have the ring game. You have the um, the National Institute. You have the zoo, which I mean was very fascinating. So I think um, it, it, this culture day really awakened our Jamaican culture, having the children see what our real culture here in Jamaica is about. <laughs>